Okay, uh, I was asked recently to test the shielding effectiveness of a microwave for uh, cell signals, Wi-Fi signals, um, to block those as well as uh, block an EMP, electromagnetic pulse, or a CME, uh, coronal mass uh, ejection, which is similar to a solar flare, um, almost the same thing. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using the MD Faraday Bag Tester app here. This uses my phone's Wi-Fi, cell signal, and uh, Bluetooth if you want it. I'm not going to be testing Bluetooth. Um, I'm, I'm going to push test again because I just had run a test. This shows me that my cell signal is at negative 100, my Wi-Fi signal is at negative 80, and no Bluetooth again. It's beginning to... Uh, uh, run the test here. It's uh, acquiring the signals and it's running on a constant graph. I'm going to let that go just for a second so you can see the graph here that's being built. And then I'm going to take it and put it in my microwave and then I'll pull it back out and we can actually see whether or not the microwave is completely blocking cell and Wi-Fi signals, which will give us a good indication of whether it's a good tool to use for um, for uh, shielding, EMP, and CME. So we'll go ahead and place it here inside my microwave. And we'll close it. Uh, this is a, I think this is a Frigidaire um, appliance, something like that. So it's inside of here that it's a little bit dark so you can't really see. So I'm just gonna point it here at the microwave for a minute. Uh, we're actually about 20, 30 seconds or so. And then I'll open the microwave back up and then pull the phone out and then I'll stop the test and we should see whether or not it's actually blocking signals. All right, that should be long enough. So take it out. We can see the test is still running. Pull this back up on the counter. Okay, uh, this is... Interesting. So, from what we can tell, I'll uh, let it go for just another second, then I'll stop the test. Okay, so what we could tell from this is that uh, Wi Fi signal was blocked by 11 dB, and that's only just a little bit. It brought it from 79 dB down to 89. Cell was blocked. Um, effectively zero dB. In fact, it, it almost looks like it went up. Um, and the, yeah, we weren't testing Bluetooth. But both of these together, it didn't block it at all. And it didn't block, it only blocked the Wi-Fi just a little bit. This is actually fascinating because um, cell and Wi-Fi signals are on different wavelengths than um, maybe the microwave is geared towards uh, blocking because we know microwaves are sort of sort of Faraday cages But uh, effectively it did not block cell or Wi-Fi um, I Would not have a high level of confidence that this would block an EMP or a CME a solar flare um, This does not seem to me like it would be a good solution for blocking um, any circuitry flashlights phones uh, two-way radios, ham radios, sat phones, anything that I'd be looking to block um, in case of a, uh, a serious disaster. Hope you enjoyed this test. I hope this helps. And uh, please leave any uh, questions or um, video requests in the comments.